Welcome you all to the uh, George Peabody House uh, third grade essay contest award ceremony. It's a mouthful. Um, I'd like to go ahead and thank our docents uh, who worked really hard this year, um, as they always do, um, and most of them are here today. Um, I'd also like to thank the North Shore Bank for their continued support. They've been supporting us for 22 years, so which is the entire length of our program and our museum. Um, and I'd like to go ahead and uh, thank the judges, too, which are most of our docents, and they're here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to introduce our, uh, one of our trusted docents and one of our longtime supporters, Mr. Yeah. William Toomey. He's our master of ceremonies today. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Can you all hear me? Good. The reason why they selected me for this job is because I'm closest to the age of George Peabody. <laughs> uh, he would be 116 years old today and uh, full of life, unlike myself. But uh, he had uh, promoted what we have here in Peabody and created a lot of good people in the process, a lot of good politicians, a lot of good uh, teachers and uh, educators. and a lot of smart boys and girls. And we're here this morning, of course, uh, to talk to these people and listen to them. But first of all, I'd just like to recognize that uh, we have the three winners, uh, uh, Dana uh, Tennant, Ellen Torres, and Trevor Smith, and their parents and cheering squads are with them. <laughs> and if you'd all just raise your hand so we won't uh, get uh, one over the other. Good, good boys. Uh, first speaker on the agenda today will be Dr. Milton uh, Bur uh, Burke. Burke. <coughs> <laughs> now I'm giving my age away. But uh, Milton has been with the system for a few years now, and uh, it seems to be rolling along pretty good. Uh, we all like him very much, and uh, we hope that you'll uh, appreciate the work that he's doing and his, uh, his staff as well. Milton, would you like to say a few words? Thank you, Bill. Well, good morning, especially to Dana, Allen, and Trevor here. This is your day. Good morning, Mayor Bonfanti, parents, teachers, principals, and, and guests. Here we are, this is the, as Mr. Toomey just said, this is the 22nd annual third grade essay <coughs> contest award ceremony. This has grown to be one of the most prestigious events that we have in the entire school system uh, in conjunction with the uh, George Peabody House here. So this is, this is truly an honor. A little bit of the history behind this is that when, when George Peabody House was procured by the city and was procured by, from the Eastman Gelatin Corporation, uh, I think for a very nominal sum, there was a, there was a, 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 a means looking how can we involve students in, the, in learning about the history of Peabody. So way back when, I think it was uh, with Mayor Teregion and a gentleman by the name of Mr. Jack Walsh, they set up a program where every third grade student every year would come to the George Peabody House to learn about the city's namesake and even how Peabody got to become called Peabody. So if you take 22 years, this has probably been over 11 thousand third grade students that have come through the George Peabody House for this tour. That means over 11,000 students have participated in this grade three essay contest. So what we have here today is we have three of the best students in our entire third grade across the city. Every student here in the city came to this, came to the house, they worked with their teachers, they worked with um, their essays, they worked very hard, and every student developed an essay. Now, it was narrowed down, and you see a number of the other essays. There are, there are hundreds of excellent essays 
but the judges found three that really rose to the top all the way through. So you three, we're going to expect to see your name as we go along through middle school, through high school. I think there's big expectations uh, for you three as well, too. You've, you've shown your talent as third grade students. Now, within this award ceremony here, there's a lot that go, really goes behind it, from the docents that prepare the tours that come through here, uh, to the teachers that talk about the lessons when they go back at the class, to the teachers that, um, that, that really talk about how to put together a good essay as well, too, and as well as the principals that really have bought into this as well, too. So this is quite an event. Now, in recognition of you three, way back when there was a bank in Peabody that was called the George Peabody Cooperative Bank. The George Peabody Cooperative Bank has, has changed its name and is now known as the, the North Shore Bank. They have, right from the very beginning, they have stood up and said, we want to be part of this contest, and they have sponsored the awards for 22 years now. So that is quite a feat to have a long term. And we have the president and representative here of the, uh, of the North Shore Bank, and they will be presenting the awards later on. So again, you three have done well. Know that your essays are going to be duplicated and they will be sent to every third grade classroom in the entire city as models of good writing and good art as well, too. So good job, guys. All right. Thanks, Bill. Thank you very much, Martin. And along with the mention of the George Peabody North Shore uh, Bank, uh, we have Mary Lou DeSilva here. Mary, would you like to say a few words? Mr. LaFlam, would you like to say a few oh, sure, words? Sure. <laughs> well, good morning. It's a lovely day, isn't it? Finally, a little, uh, little sunshine. But uh, first, I want to congratulate uh, the winners. Uh, great job uh, and all the participants. But just as much uh, to your parents uh, for showing you the way, and I'm sure helping you, as well as the judges and all the volunteers. As we've already mentioned, uh, uh, North Shore Bank has been a sponsor of this uh, great event for 22 years, and we're very uh, proud to be able to do that. Uh, as a community bank, it's very important for us to give back to the community, and that's what George Peabody was all about. Very successful man, and one of the very first uh, philanthropic individuals in the country. You probably didn't, you know, before you started this process, probably didn't know who George Peabody was, but he's kind of like the equivalent of Bill Gates, if we all know who Bill Gates is. Bill Gates is the, the founder of Microsoft, a very successful uh, company, and, and, and very generous. He gives a lot of money back to the community. So my point is, and that's what our bank tries to do as our local community bank, is to give back to the community. And so my point is, to you, is that when you become the next Bill Gates, don't forget about Peabody. And giving back, and giving back to your community because very important. So again, congratulations, and we're very uh, proud to be able to uh, participate and uh, enjoying your success. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Laflem. Um, Mr. Laflem uh, and his organization has also contributed to the uh, PBD Education Fund, if I'm not mistaken. A yes. Photo in the paper just the other day. So we want to thank you as a corporate sponsor of our organization. Uh, next on the list is our Honorable Mayor, Michael Von Fonte. Michael? Thank you, Bill. Good morning, and a special good morning to the three of you. You know, uh, I, I listened to uh, Dr. Burnett uh, and talk about the history, and i um, uh, very pleased that we're uh, in Peabody, very blessed uh, with uh, great teachers that make the big difference. And uh, we uh, know very much so that uh, what makes education work is good teachers, uh, but support from the parents, and, and uh, that's essential. So you're very, very fortunate that uh, you're getting a good education because you have people who care and work with you. And you know, when we talk about George Peabody, George Peabody did not have an education. Uh, he was not as fortunate as uh, we are. And uh, he always thought that that lack of education was the biggest thing he missed in his life. Now, we might say, with old George, uh, without edu that education, uh, did so much, so, so, so much good. Uh, 
when you look at all the educational facilities and, and uh, uh, libraries uh, that he endowed, and the fact that he felt uh, that uh, others needed that opportunity, he came a long way. Mm -hmm. And uh, you heard uh, President Laflamme talk about uh, how his bank, and, and by the way, I have to tell you that was the first bank that I ever had, was uh, the George Peabody Bank uh, many, many years ago. But how he and has become part of this community, but how his bank, which is headquartered here, has really adopted the city of Peabody, and they give back, and that is in the footsteps of a George Peabody. And, uh, uh, you know, one of the things that I want to emphasize is that George made it, and he made it through hard work, and he did not forget the people. And that's an obligation we have in life, is when you do make it, and you will, you do have an obligation to give back, especially in these times. And uh, we're very, very proud of the fact that we have, our, as our namesake, a person like George Peabody. Now, he was great on education, uh, absolutely. But he also did something that's a major problem today that he tried to address 100 years ago. And uh, he was the biggest, I don't know if people realize it, the biggest sponsor of housing for people. In L London, where he uh, eventually went and resided, he built over 50,000 units of housing to help the poor and those that are less fortunate. So not only did he believe in education, not only did he believe in helping others, he also uh, made it a point to help uh, the working person. And I hate to say it, but City of Peabody is a working class community, and I'm proud of that fact. And uh, he understood the, the value of education, did something about it, understood the need of the working man, and did something about it. And uh, you know that word philanthropist, uh, it's a big word, and it has a lot of meaning, but he was the first great American philanthropist. And when you talk, and I, I listen to him talk about Bill Gates and Warren Buffett and how they're now giving back. But the first one was George, and uh, uh, in his day, if we gave equivalent money, uh, it would be over $800 million, today's dollars. So it's something to uh, uh, strive for. And, you know, as I said, a big obligation. I do think you're going to have great opportunities. And there is a responsibility that goes with great opportunities. And it's a responsibility to other people. And if we can all remember that, uh, I think we're, we're better off as, as a country and certainly as a city. Uh, so that's my pitch today of putting the burden of the world on you. <laughs> <laughs> I also now have the, uh, the pleasure of uh, uh, giving out the uh, awards. And uh, I'm going to be assisted by my friend here, the North Shore Bank. Here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do uh, is uh, I'm going to start with the third place winner, and uh, I'm going to uh, uh, announce the name, uh, the teachers involved, the parents, and then I'm going to ask if they would read their uh, writings. And so why don't we start with uh, uh, Trevor Smith, who's from the South Memorial School. He's the uh, son of Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Smith. His teacher was Eileen Spence, and of course his principal was Mary Ellen McGrath. So would you come forward, please? Trevor? Uh, first, first, what we would like you to do is to read your... Uh, Give my, if I were a philanthropist, I would give my money to the library so we could have more books and people could learn more things. When people study hard, they get a good job like being a doctor. We need more doctors in our world and I want to be one someday. I would study about what to do when people break their arms or legs. I love to read and I know that will help me be a doctor. 
I really want people to read more. That's why I would give my money to the library. Excellent. This is from the North Shore Bank, and as a first price winner, you get $100 towards a new savings to start, to start savings for your education. Yeah, you you get Third place, I'm sorry, $25. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Congratulations. Good job. Mm -hmm. And also, it's the first year that we've had three young men win this award. Mm -hmm. So we just broke history here, too. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Our second place winner is Alan Torres. Uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jose Torres. Parents, there you go. And uh, the teacher is Sandra Heller. The school is the Welch School, and we have Dr. Monique Nappy here as well. Dr. Nappy? There you go. Do um, you want to read your? No, if you, um, can I take it down? Because we want to get you on camera. Yeah, we want to get you on camera. So, so you can turn around and look right over there. If I were a philanthropist, I would use my money for more kindness and to make bumper stickers that say, Stop bullying and violence. This would be a better world if people were kinder to each other. I would also have educational programs to teach people not to be bullies. I hope to use my money so there would be peace, kindness, and less violence in the world. $50 new savings account. And some little goodies from the North Shore Bank. Congratulations again. Well done. Now, isn't that a great word, kindness? Uh, if we were all just a little kinder to each other, wouldn't it be such a nice place? Now, our first place winner is Dana Tennant from the McCarthy School. Uh, his parents are Mr. and Mrs. Dana Tennant. Uh, his teacher is Mary Capozzi, and uh, Principal Raymond Smoyer. Who's next? Moira? Yeah. Yeah. If I were a great philanthropist like George Peabody, I would help hospitals by getting the hospitals more supplies, surgical tools, and emergency vehicles. I would have people donate money so the hospitals can buy medicine for sick people. I would put up posters so people could donate to this cause. I'd buy, I would buy more technology to save lives. Hopefully, this will help people stay alive longer. If I do this, I think George Peabody's legacy will go bigger and stronger. This is what I would do if I were a great philanthropist like George Peabody. Very You know, not, not only did they uh, write dress, great essays, but uh, what always impresses me is the way they handle themselves and how well spoken they are, too. You know, again, compliment to the parents and to the teachers. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Very good, boys. Congratulations to all of you. You did a great job here this afternoon, this morning. And uh, right now we're going to have a rendition of Good George Peabody from the Peabody High School Chorus and Ensemble uh, by Mr. John Simons in the back here with his group. And they're going to give us that. And then we'll uh, make some acknowledgments afterwards. And then we'll have uh, birthday cake and uh, punch. John? I just wanted to mention I brought with uh, the three singers. This is Helen Jeffers and Natalie Diaz from the Bird of Belisaro. Oh, 
brought a heart from peasant to the queen, to which his generous act in part has not a lesson mean. It teaches us that better things with riches may be done than all the pomp and wealth of kings have ever brought us one. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Simon. Students, you did a great job again, as usual, for the 22nd time. <laughs> uh, just in closing, on the back of our program, you'll find the credits of uh, the people that have worked on this. Uh, specifically, we'd like to thank the Offshore Bank, Mr. LaFarm and his group, as well as our own docents here, uh, Vera Burke, who's out there getting the punch ready. Uh, myself, Georgia Metropolis, Linda Roma, Dorothy Banks, Ann Train, and Joy Terranzoni, and Lord Larry O'Brien. And w those are the people that give the courses uh, once a week to the multitudes of third grade students. And we're probably the only school district in the whole North Shore that has taught our children what we we're all about. So thanks to the mayor and the superintendent and the people here. We're doing our job. Oh, we like to think here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much.